back with today food is easier than you think. We're serving up recipes that only sound hard to make. This is Stuart O'Keefe. He's the author of Quick Six Fix, and he's here with his recipe for mussels. Stuart, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. It's not hard, right? No, I, mean, I it's love not these hard things. At all. I would never make them at home. Let's start with the frit part of the mussels. You're okay. making potatoes here. Potatoes. I use fingerling potatoes because they resemble fries. And we have a hot pan in the oven. I have it in there at about 400 degrees. Right. It's going to toss with some olive oil. Fingerling potatoes. Olive oil, salt. And that's it. The key to having the pan is hot because you want like a nice sear on the potatoes. Okay, they go on there. They go, on. they go in the oven. We talk about them later. Okay. Exactly. Let's move around, around here, here and talk about the mussels part. Okay. You so got the broth or the or the sauce going here. Yeah, What's in so there? We got some shallots, some garlic, some butter. The best things. That's ever. it. Yeah. And then we're going to add in some white wine and some parsley. Okay. And so that's the basis to your broth for the mussels. That's all right. Gonna so that's going to get good and hot. Yeah. And then let's talk about the mussels. What are we looking for when we so buy them? Just to, you want them to smell really fresh. If they smell kind of off, to ask your fishmonger as well. If they're clean, even better. It saves you more time in the kitchen. Okay, how do you that's, clean them? You clean Just scrub them. Okay, just with all like, right. Under, uh, under cold water with something kind of like coarse, like something like a plastic um, sponge. Okay. That's, that's pretty, you're pretty good. Now those go right in the, uh, the boiling right. broth. Exactly. The great thing about this, it's so fast, it takes about three to four minutes, and that's it. So add those in. It's good. Okay, perfect. Right. Seal that up. Seal that up. Three to four minutes. We're going to move over here. Now, and this is what you get. Talk to me. <laughs> Look at these like, this things. This is what people would order in a restaurant all the time. It's so easy. It's pretty much, the, I think, the easy, one of the easiest recipes in the book. We've got our guys downstairs. You mussels, guys? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. 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 I love it. eating them. Mm -hmm. see how easy they are to make. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these things literally mm. open right up. If, by the way, if one doesn't open, one doesn't open, chuck it. Get rid of you that. Do not okay. Want that. Yeah. So now you take them out of here. Take them. Plate them up for me. Okay. I'm just gonna. I like to serve them in a big bowl like this. And the reason for that is when you dump just... them in like that, it's really so important that you get a lot of that broth in there. Yeah. I just want to hit it with some parsley, fresh parsley. If you have some chopped garlic, throw that on there too. You have the fingerling potatoes here. I like to toss them in some parmesan. Okay. And um, you can always dip them in the broth. Yes. I love to dip in the broth. But most important, you've got to have mm. great bread, right, yes. guys? Yes. Bread in the broth. We are dipping yes. our bread right as we speak. All right, so I'm going to do there. that even as you speak. And again, start to finish, Stuart, this meal yeah. should take you how long to prepare? It's prepare like six minutes prep, six minutes clean up, and about 10 minutes to make total wow. cooking time. So again, you think it's difficult, oh, but it actually turns out easy, and it fills your entire home with the smell of that broth. Mm. This is really good. Right. Stuart, thank you so much. Thank you so much oh, for this gosh, and all of you. our recipes this week. Head to today.com slash food.